first test of the season was Colorado State, and the Buffaloes came out firing. Bobby Purify got on track. His fourth carry of the game moved the ball down to the four to set up Colorado's first touchdown. The defense showed they were ready to turn around this season, and Colorado's D stuffed the Rams' first drive. The Buffs kept the offense driving. Purify's nine-yard rumble helped set up a 14-0 lead. The Buffaloes were unforgiving on defense. Made by Hill, he dances, gets around one man, stutters up, then he's split up and brought down back at the 19-yard line. Oh, what a great Stephon Robinson's punt return gave CU great field position. Right fires out there. Wallace the grab at the 26 yard line, and the stutter steps out of bounds. Joel Glatt's passing and the running of Bobby Purify got the Bucks close enough for a Mason Crosby field goal. And Colorado was up 17 0 in the second quarter. Spotted booted, the kick is up, it's on its way, and it's good. James Gary and Jordan Dizon put the clamps on the Rams. The Colorado defense continued to dominate early. The Rams eventually got on the board after a hard fought drive and Colorado led at the half 17 to seven. The second half was truly a hard hitting affair. He chased around the left side and he hammered down at the 42 yard line. Purify broke loose for good yardage. Jolly made a good contribution on the ground. The Buffaloes tried to slow down the Rams. Alex Lagon makes sure quarterback Justin Holland remembers him. Snap, retreats, sets up to the 17, hit from behind as he delivers the ball, and charging it, Alex Lagon. The Buffaloes moved the ball into CSU territory and were rewarded with a monster kick, a 55-yarder from Mason Crosby, and Colorado led 20 to 17 in the fourth. In crunch time, number 27, Brian Ewu made a big interception and went to the end zone for a 27 to 17 advantage. Highlight 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Colorado! Brian Ewu, a 37-yard interception return for a score. How about that? 625. The Rams scored to close the gap to 27 to 24 and were on the verge of an upset. But the Buffaloes made a last stand to win the season opener over the rival Rams. Hits, sweeping, near side, Walker is hit and brought down as time expires. The defense comes up big and Colorado holds off Colorado State to win it. 27-24 here at Folsom Field. Holy cow, what a game. Next up, Washington State for game two. Brian E. Wu collected a quarterback sack. The defense pretty much had their way in the first half. Colorado grabbed a 3-0 first quarter lead. The Colorado defense held firm. The Buffaloes kept the Cougars in check. Has a man on his face, hit by Alex Lagon. Ball pops loose, so the sack and the fumble. The Buffaloes defense kept the pressure on. Bobby Purify and Evan Judge kept the chains moving. Colorado's Bernard Jackson picked up some good yardage through trickery. The Cougars were stopped, and the special team saved the day. One yard line scooped up and rolling in is Vickers. Touchdown, Colorado. And the special teams come up big. Dominic Brooks and the rest of the Buffaloes D were starting to assert themselves. Glant and Colorado found success through the air.
The interception made it 17 to 6 Colorado. 10, 5 touchdown Colorado. A great kickoff return set up another field goal. 20, 22 is one to the 25, 30-yard line, 35, looks to the near side line, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, and he's finally drilled out of bounds on the near side. Spotted, booted, the kick is up, it is on its way, and it is good. Leading 20 to 12, it looked like a repeat performance of week one. The two and knocked out at the one-yard line. And the goal line stand made it two heart stoppers in a row. A struggling North Texas team limped in the boulder on September 18th. Bobby Purify set the tone while the defense made the stops. Joel Klatt's passing got the Buffaloes in range. Again, accurate passing from Klatt's and Purify's nifty running made it 14 all. Off play. Give off Bobby Purify running up the right side, 10 yard line, 5 yard line goes airborne, bounces off a man, leaves in, touchdown Colorado, a 12 yard run. The defense helped turn this game around and made the big play when it had to. The offense was on the move. And Colorado was in front to stay 21-14 in the second quarter. Action rolls out to try the 10, looks for the end zone, fires off, Coffin's nine, catch steps in at the corner, touchdown. The second period action was fast and furious. The air and ground attack were hitting on all cylinders. Purify's balancing act boosted Colorado's advantage to 28-14. Flat turns, hands out to Bobby Purify, oh. hole right side, 10, five-yard line, gets away from man, leans across the goal line, touchdown, Colorado. Despite giving up huge chunks of real estate to Jamario Thomas, the defense harassed the mean green offense most of the time. Joel Klatt and Evan Judge combined for a score and put the game firmly in Colorado's win column late in the half, 35-14. to 14. It was no contest in the second half. The defense stopped North Texas cold, and the CU offense kept the clock moving as well as the ball. Mason Crosby was accurate from 49 yards away, and Colorado led 38 to 14. As usual, got plenty of distance, and it's gone. The defense started to contain Jamario Thomas in the third quarter. Colorado would soon make another appearance in the end zone at 45 to 14. Fires down the hash, catches made, backpedaling into the end zone. Colorado touchdown by Joel Kloppenstein. And the game turned into a Colorado defensive showcase the rest of the way. In the end, it was the Buffaloes stampeding their way to a 52-21 victory. Play action, rolling out to his right. Still running at the 10-yard line, at the 5-yard line. Tucks him dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! Missouri was hoping for a rare win over Colorado. It would only be the Tigers' third in 20 years, while the Buffaloes wanted to continue their dominance. After Missouri got on the board first for a touchdown advantage, Colorado rallied with a 15-play drive and a field goal. Bobby Purifies dive into the end zone, cut the gap to 10-9 in favor of Missouri. Purify rarely broke free on the afternoon, but when he did, it was spectacular. Despite brief offensive flurries, the Buffaloes could not punch a second touchdown across, and Missouri still held the lead. For the rest of the afternoon, the defenses dictated the style of play. Colorado trailed 17 to 9, but the Buffaloes gave themselves a chance late in the game. Corner going airborne, coming down with the ball. Did he hold on? There's a wrestling match for the football. It is down and an interception in the corner of the end zone. It was going to be a difficult chore for Colorado. Contain Oklahoma State's vicious ground game. The Buffaloes offense, though, was rounding into shape and was due for a good outing. 
Colorado made a bid on offense. The Buffs defense made a big play. And coming back is Renzo Sims intercepted at the 20 yard line. Breaks away from the A promising drive for Colorado ended once more with nothing to show for it. Colorado contained Oklahoma State on the ground in the first quarter. In the third quarter, Colorado had OSU pinned, but the Cowboys drove 95 yards for a score. The Buffaloes broke the drought in the fourth, trailing 28 to zero. One over a man at the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown, Colorado. CU got one more score in the end, but it was all Oklahoma State 42 to 14. Touchdown, Colorado. Iowa State and Colorado were both at a crossroads. Both saw the game as highly winnable, but knew they had to reach the end zone a lot more to come away with a victory. A break is what Colorado sorely needed, and the Buffaloes picked one up early. To his right, looks in the end zone, looks back, fires it back in the corner, and it's caught! Jesse Wallace, touchdown, Colorado! Bobby Purify found running room to his liking. 30 yard line, 25 in the open, 20, 15, 10, hit it to five, stiff arms about spotted. Put down Mason Crosby came Crosby in for a sure three at a 10 0 lead late in the first quarter. The Colorado defense gave little ground to the Cyclones and soon handed the ball back to the offense. Pulls it to the right side, picked up by Lorenzo Sims at the 30, running inside the 35, out to the 40 yard line, breaks a tackle across the 50, 45 40, cuts to his right and cut down at the 37 yard line. Lorenzo Sims intercepts the ball at the 30. The Cyclones threatened but were disappointed. The Buffaloes quickly moved downfield and set the stage once again for Mason Crosby. Snap, spotted, booted, the kick is up. It is on its way. It has the distance, and it is good! A 60-yard field goal by Mason Crosby with 5.43 to play in the first half, and it's 13-0 Colorado leading. Colorado took advantage of another Iowa State turnover, and Crosby was called upon to make it happen. And the boss had the football. Spotted, booted, the kick is up. It is on its way, and it is good. And Mason Crosby, who was three of three on this given afternoon, hit a 60-yarder. And The Colorado lead was never in real danger as the offense maintained ball control to set up yet another boot from Crosby to make it 19 to 7. Spotted boot of the kick is up and Mr. Automatic is good again. Thank goodness for the buff. The beleaguered Cyclones managed a late touchdown, but Lawrence Vickers' dash put any doubt to rest. The Buffs were back in the win column, 19 to 14. Still on his feet all the way down to the 40-yard line before he's finally wrestled out of bounds. The University of Colorado stood at 4-2 and two overall and 1-2 and two in Big 12 conference play. The Buffaloes wanted to maintain their momentum, but they were up against a talented Texas A&M squad on the road. The defense showed some early fights while Bobby Purify showcased his talents with a breakaway. A running man, 25, 20, hit from behind. Next, Purify had a chance to show what he could do after catching the ball. 30, 25, has blockers, running at the 20, 15, Mason Crosby booted a field goal. The defense had its moments. The Buffaloes were really spreading the field with their offense. Bubble screen pass near side. Catch is made by Bernard Jackson. Throws it back to the far side. Catch is made by Joe Platt. Colorado soon had its first touchdown of the afternoon. Pressure up the middle. Whips it into the back of the end zone. And it is caught. Touchdown, Evan Judge. The Joel Clatt to Blake Mackey connection was quite productive. Pedaling catch inside the 25 to the 24. Then Clatt found Evan Judge to increase the Colorado lead. Touchdown, Colorado. Purify was racking up a bundle of offensive yardage. AM gradually took a 20 to 19 lead, even though Colorado's offense was moving the ball well. 
Time was running short. It was time for Colorado's receiving core to step up with a big play. The Buffaloes were not denied on this drive. They grabbed a 26 to 23 lead with just 105 to play. Left side finds her seam, pulls his way in, touchdown Colorado! And Colorado has taken the lead, 25. A chip shot field goal gave the Aggies a 29 to 26 triumph. The highly ranked Longhorns came to Boulder for a showdown and Buffs fans wondered how their team would stack up against a Southern Division powerhouse. Colorado was presented with a golden opportunity. Young to his right, flips it out the near sideline, and it is picked off of the near sideline. Running up the sideline is Wheatley, 10-5, touchdown Colorado! It was picked off back in the... The turnover gave the Buffaloes a boost on defense. Texas was rattled, and Colorado forced another turnover. Jordan dies on back at the 30-yard line. Ball pumps. pumps once, twice, tries to flip it up, and a second interception. It is picked off by the Buffaloes at the 16-yard line, and Lorenzo Sims. The Buffaloes battled hard with the Longhorns throughout the first half and trailed 14-7. Colorado was able to find a few cracks in the defense, but the Buffaloes were not able to put together a touchdown drive. The third quarter proved deadly for the Buffalo's hopes. The Longhorns racked up 17 points en route to a 31-7 defeat of Colorado. If the Buffaloes seriously wanted to win their third Big 12 North Division crowd in four years, they needed to start winning right now. The sense of urgency did not take hold right away as Kansas jumped out to a 14-0 lead midway through the first quarter and all appeared bleak until Dominic Brooks provided a lightning fast turn of events. Touchdown Colorado. The offense came to life following the turnover and Colorado put together a sustained and balanced 17 play drive capped by a Mason Crosby field goal. The first half drew to a close but Colorado was showing much more spark and fans could feel the momentum swing their way. The third quarter provided the first lead of the game for Colorado. Colorado. Joe Kloppenstein with two catchers on the drive. The Colorado defense was continually hitting hard and keeping the bus very much in the game. The Jayhawks struggled to a 21-17 lead but were forced to punt with under 30 seconds to play in the third quarter when lightning struck for Colorado. KU 49 yard line runs straight ahead to his right at the 45. Running right across the field, breaks one tackle, gets a nice block running at the 40. Down the right sideline, 30 yard line, 25 yard line, 20 yard line, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Colorado! A return of 49 yards and the Buffaloes have regained the lead with 12 seconds to play in this third quarter here in The Buffaloes defense kept the Jayhawks offense in check. When Colorado got the ball with 8.01 to play in the game, the Buffaloes put Kansas away with a well-executed ground attack. Lawrence Vickers was key to the drive. The V-back was simply unstoppable. God. Vickers until the tandem, give to the big man, runs over man at the one yard line, down to the goal line, touchdown Colorado! Kansas tried a desperation drive in the closing moments, but Terrence Wheatley was there to put an end to the Jayhawks' hopes. Colorado gained a much needed 30 to 21 victory. The Buffaloes now had a shot at the North title if they could run the table. 15, 20 yard line hit from behind and knocked out of bounds at the 26 yard line on the far side of the field. An inconsistent but potent Kansas State team was the next obstacle in Colorado's path. In the first quarter, Bobby Purify helped ignite the Buffaloes offense. Purify dazzled the crowd with his moves. Purify almost got into the end zone a few plays later as he set up Joel Klatt's one-yard run for a 7-0 lead. The two teams sparred back and forth for much of the quarter. 
The Buffaloes maintain the 7-0 margin with a key turnover. To the 31, has time, looks over the middle, fires over the middle, picked off by Tom Hubbard at the 42-yard line, running right at 45. 50, cuts back to his left, gets a nice block at the 45, down to the 40-yard line, he's hammered down there. That interception led directly to a field goal and a 10-0 lead. And it is good! And that is the fifth 50-plus yard field goal of the season for Mason Crosby. The Wildcats overcame torrid Colorado pressure to regain their composure and forge a 10-all score at the half. The third quarter saw Colorado dish out some hard knocks. The Buffs cashed in on a K-State turnover in the third quarter. He drops the football, it's loose on the carpet, and it's picked up by Colorado. He lost it, and Stefan Robinson comes up. Pitch sweeping right, Purify gets a nice block, runs in, untouched, touchdown. The Buffaloes tried to break the game open with a bit of razzle-dazzle. Downfield coming back, making the grab at the 45-yard line, and running forward, Blake Mackey across the 35, inside the 35, down to the 33-yard line. Bobby Purify picked up solid yardage to keep the drive alive, and Joel Klatt put Colorado up by two touchdowns. Rifles in the back of the end zone. Joel Klatt is tied. Bobbles comes down with the football. Touchdown, Colorado, and the Buffs are on top. Bobby Purify almost broke another big one, and it was still going Colorado's way. K-State made a tremendous bid for victory. The Wildcats tied the game at 31 with just over 30 seconds to play. 28. Steps up, flush to his left, looking downfield now. Rifles it downfield. Ron Monte all by himself. Catch at the 20-yard line. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Colorado! Five seconds remaining. And the Buffs go deep down the field, finding senior Ron Monte to take the lead. In the, winning the dramatic finish and a 38-31 victory gave Colorado a chance at the North Division title. A win over Nebraska, even a Husker team having a down year, is no easy chore. However, it was obvious that this day belonged to the Buffaloes. After the defense easily handled Nebraska's opening possession, quarterback Joel Klatt went to work. Klatt was a brilliant five of six passing for the drive and capped it off with a bullet. Klatt rolls out to his right, nearly trips, rolling to the near sideline at the 10, rifles it in the end zone, catch is made in the end zone. Linebacker Thaddeus Washington was a perfect illustration as to why teams practiced the tip drill. The Buffs took advantage of the turnover and converted it into three points. Klatt and company continued to move the ball on offense while the CU defense anticipated Nebraska's every move. Bobby Purify found room to run. Running at the 30, 40-yard line to the 50, and he's hit from behind and run out of bounds. Moments later, Colorado made the pick. Wheatley's interception led to a Buffalo touchdown. Mackey to catch, has blocker Monte out front, running at 50, 45, 40, down the sideline, 25, 20, foot race, 15, he's hit inside the 10-yard line of dribble. Pitch, out of sweeping right, Bobby Purify cuts back against the grain, runs back to his left, has blockers, running at the 10, running at the 5, touchdown, Colorado as Purify just strolls on into the end. Nebraska had more difficulty solving the Colorado defensive scheme. An interception by Lorenzo Sims set up Mason Crosby for three more points in the third quarter. It's on its way and it is good. The powerhouse Lawrence Vickers provided a solid game. Bobby Purify added more yardage and moved the chains once again. The drive set up yet another field goal from Mason Crosby and a 26-7 lead. Big Matt McChesney took down Nebraska quarterback Joe Daly and the defensive secondary kept tipping away passes. An impressive run from Lawrence Vickers gave Colorado great field position and quarterback Joel Klatt continued to put up big numbers. Linebacker Thaddeus Washington made another big interception late in the game. Nebraska made it close, but Colorado came away with a 26-20 victory. Combined with Iowa State's loss, it was another North Division title for the Buffaloes. The Buffaloes not only had to face a great offense in the UTEP Miners, but had to overcome a pretty fair quarterback in Jordan Palmer the younger brother of former Heisman Trophy winner Carson Palmer.
After shutting down UTEP on its first possession, Colorado went to work in the air. A pass to Evan Judge picked up 11 yards and helped set up Mason Crosby's 26-yard field goal. Colorado needed to jumpstart its offense, and freshman Hugh Charles provided the spark, rushing for a 37-yard gain. Blake Mackey followed it up with a reverse for 20 yards to the UTEP three. And the freshman Charles ran up the middle for the touchdown. Colorado trailed just 14 to 10. The ever-reliable Mason Crosby made the most of his field goal opportunities all season, and he continued in the bowl game. Crosby booted a 54-yarder to close the gap to 14 to 13 with 9-16 to play in the second quarter. As the first half was about to expire, Colorado managed to get close enough for a 40-yard field goal. But Crosby missed, and the Miners went into the locker room leading 21 to 13. Colorado slowed down UTEP in the third quarter thanks to a fumble recovery by Jordan Dizon at the 47-yard line. The bus took advantage of the turnover. Klatt's pass over the middle to tight end Joe Kloppenstein took Colorado down to the UTEP 29-yard line. Kloppenstein grabbed another Klatt pass. It was a gain of 16 yards and set up Crosby's 37-yard boot. UTEP still led 21-16, but Colorado had the momentum. And it continued a few seconds later when Tom Hubbard made a pick at the Colorado 49-yard line. Platt passed once more to Kloppenstein for 18 yards, but Crosby's field goal missed from 42 yards out. The Colorado defense refused to give in and continued to play hard. It was another three and out for the Miters offense. Colorado started with fantastic field position following the punt and moved 22 yards downfield thanks to a Blake Mackey reception. This time, Crosby was dead on target from 20 yards, and Colorado was within range at 21-19. On first down from their own 22, the Buffaloes Clatt tossed a pass to Kloppenstein, and the 6'6 junior tight end took it all the way, outrunning the Miners' defense for a 78-yard touchdown. The defense needed to step up now, and that's what it did. Tom Hubbard snagged his second interception of the game at the Colorado 28 to snuff out a Miners drive. Klatt and company put together a clutch drive, but they needed some trickery to pull it off. A key fourth and three play saw John Tor fake the punt and rush 22 yards into UTEP territory. Two plays later, Klatt passed to Evan Judge for a touchdown at a 33-28 Colorado lead. There was still plenty of time for Palmer and the Miners to operate. A sack by Thaddeus Washington dropped Palmer for a five-yard loss to halt one drive. In the last minute and a half, UTEP had one final chance. After the Miners moved from their own 10 to their own 40, Colorado's defense clamped down and forced four straight incompletions to notch this game in the Buffalo's win column. The 33-28 victory was an uphill struggle all the way and seemed to embody the Buffalo's entire season. Overcoming problems, tough opponents, and finishing strong was a gratifying end for head coach Gary Barnett and his Buffaloes, and certainly a fitting salute to all CU fans.